Hello and welcome. This is a little video that accompanies a blog post that I wrote together. Um, this actually deals with a problem that I have been asked about many, many times, both in my day job and also recently at the TC conference on tour that we had in Berlin in September. Um, it's basically about how to create movement paths in Tableau. And um, obviously you can read the blog post and copy paste all the formula that I, that I use for this, but it's actually a very simple workflow and I created this little video just to show you how easy it actually is. Um, the data that I picked for demonstrating this is actually the openflights.org uh, data, which is a great data set and it is available for free, but may I kindly ask you if you're using this data more extensively or if you like it or just if you feel like doing something good, just drop those guys a little a uh, little extra money because um, what they're doing is actually great and they're giving it away for free so um, I think that's 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 great so basically what we're using for this demo or for this little tutorial is not all of the data you can see they have data about airports and airlines and routes and schedules and stuff um, what we're going to use for this is so far only the airports data and you can just go to that website you could download that data I'm just going to save that link because it's directly linked to the um, to the GitHub repository. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna rename this file because DAT just for me doesn't like, doesn't click. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna rename that to airport.csv and we're going to skip the airlines. Obviously you can implement that as well if you feel like it, but the one we're gonna use is the airports, um, I apologize, the routes. So we're gonna save this one as well and I'm gonna, oops, I forgot to rename it. Well, that's not a big problem. We can do that anytime later. So now that we've downloaded the data, let me just briefly rename this because this video, mm, okay, yes, I do want to change it. All right, so um, let's briefly have a look at what that, uh, what those files contain. So the airports, this is basically just a long list of all the airports that exist in the world, including like which country they're in, um, obviously their geo coordinates, how high up they are and so on. A little bit of information about time zones, which all of that we're not even going to use, but it's interesting that it's, that it's all in there. What's of more interest might be the routes. And this is actually a file that has all the different flight connections that exist between two airports. For example, here between the airport, and I apologize, I don't exactly know which one. This is AER and KZN. I suspect this might be Kazan, uh, but I'm not sure, but actually it doesn't really matter. So all this shows us is that the airline 2B, um, which Again, I don't know which airline that is, I apologize for that, but airline 2B actually has a connection between the airports of AER and KZN. It also tells us that they're using the CR2, which I think is the Canada 200 jet for this connection, and it also shows us it's a non-stop connection. Okay, so this is basically the, the information we're getting from this file. Now, one thing that is kind of missing from those files is uh, headers, and I just told you what those what those fields are and if you look into the into the documentation for the files you can also see that they're really nicely documented um, so you could just copy paste them and uh, create headers um, if you read the blog post I did all that work for you so what you can do is just uh, copy and paste those headers so this for example is the header file for the airports and I'm just going to implement that here and save it and I'm going to do the same for the routes file um, just so we have nice little headers and uh, we can work with the with the data more intuitively. Obviously, the place where we do work with the data in a more intuitive way is going to be Tableau. And in order to do this, I'm just going to use my favorite trick in Tableau, just drag and drop the files in there. And we're going to start with the roots. Okay, so let me just drag this into Tableau over here. And we can see, yes, all the headers came in very nicely. Um, and in order to build up the data structure we need for this path generation, we're actually gonna use a few of the cool new features that were introduced. It was possible to do that earlier as well, but now with all those new features we introduced, it actually got a lot easier, and you're gonna see why in a second. Since Tableau needs, in order to draw a line, Tableau needs two points, obviously, the start point and the end point. So in this case, for example, we would need the location of the airport of e AER and then the location of the airport KZN, and then we can tell Tableau, hey, please draw a line between those two locations. Now, every route at the moment is only one record in our data set. So in order to draw two points, we need two records in the data set. One will be applied the coordinates for the first airport, AER in this case, 
and the second line would be apply the location of the second airport, KZN in this case. And there's a very easy way we can do this, uh, which is a self-join, or excuse me, a self-union. And the way we can do this is we're just going to take the same file again, which is this root CSV file, and we're going to drag it in here in this table of dialog. And you can see there's a little orange box that says drag table to union. It only appears if you approach the box like from underneath and you approach it uh, to a certain point, it, it shows up. And just by doing this, you can see the data source now changed its name to roots.csv plus which basically means it's a union. You could also go in here to edit union and see, okay, yes, I do have the same file twice. And we can see the second instance of my root CSV file is now referenced by root CSV one. And that's gonna be important in a second. The other thing you can see is that we have this uh, pseudo 3D uh, image here now. So you can immediately see in your data flow that this is actually a union. And the third thing that happens, and this is what I'd really like to point out is that just by doing this union tableau created a new field called table name, and in here we have the name of the table that this specific record came from. And this is where this root CSV one again will show up for all the records that come from the second instance of the root CSV file. And we're gonna use this table name field in order to split out um, for Tableau in an easier way to say, okay, this one is the first instance, this is the second instance, because as I said, we're gonna need those for the path order in order to say, hey Tableau, this is the first point of the line, this is the second point of the line, please draw the line. Okay, and the way we're gonna do this is we're just gonna create a simple new calculated field, I'm gonna call this one path ID. And uh, the formula for this is basically if my table name ends in the character one, Okay, so basically I'm going to use the string function write and I'm going to extract the rightmost one character out of the table name field. If that equals the number one, and in this case this is a string, that's why I have to put it in the quotes. If that's the case, then please set the path order to two, which means this is the end point of the line, else set it to one, um, which is the starting point, and obviously we have to end our statement. Now the order of two and one doesn't really matter, um, I just decided to do it this way because it's more orderly, but you can switch it up, it doesn't matter. Okay, so this is my path ID. One thing we're gonna do here is I'm gonna copy this uh, into, the, into the clipboard and you're gonna see in a second why I'm doing this. It's just gonna save me some time because I'm lazy. Okay, so this is my path ID and we can see everything now has a one and if I would be able to scroll down more than 1000 rows, I would see that there's also uh, records and rows with a path ID of two. Now, the interesting part is currently we don't have the information about airport locations. So I don't know where AER is on the map. Now this information obviously comes from our second CSV file, which is, which is the airport CSV. And in order to extract it, we're gonna drag it out here and you can see Tableau asks us, okay, apparently you wanna build up a join and yes, that's exactly what we wanna do. Um, but what we don't wanna do in this case is just join the, for example, destination or the source airport with the airport ID. But instead we actually wanna say, if this is the beginning of the line, then please join it with the source airport ID. And if it's the end of the line, then please join it with the, uh, with the second ID, okay? So in order to do this, we're gonna use this neat little function called create join calculation. And this was introduced in Tableau 10.2. And this is a real lifesaver in here because, and now I can just paste in the formula that I just put in my, in my um, clipboard. I can say now, if this is the first instance, instance of the file roots, which means this is my source airport, then please use the source airport ID as the join criteria. And if it is the, actually, well, in order, let's, let's, keep, it, let's keep it clean. So if, it's, if it says one, then it's gonna be the destination airport. And if it's one, then it should be the source airport ID, okay? So same logic as we just saw with the field path ID, just in this case, I'm not creating a new calculated field, but I'm defining the join criterion based on a calculation. And this now allows me to set the join to the airport ID of the file airport CSV. You can see the join works. Tableau says, yep, what you just entered makes sense to me. And that's exactly what we want. So again, for all the records of the first instance of the file root CSV, they will be joined with the, or they will create a join based on the source airport ID to the airport ID from the airports file. And for the second instance of root CSV, those will be joined on the destination airport ID and the airport ID from the airport CSV file. 
If that didn't make sense, just uh, have a look at it. Just perform this join, make sure it works, and then build up a table in Tableau and see if you can if you can understand what I mean. It's actually a very simple concept, but I um, I understand if it's a little bit hard to grasp at the first at the first go. Okay, now in this case, I want to make sure that I don't um, have any airports that don't have routes assigned, and I don't see any routes that have any airports assigned because the data is not as clean as um, we would hope for. But then again, it's free, so no hard feelings here. So just to be safe, I'm going to opt for an inner join just to exclude everything that doesn't have anything corresponding on the other end. Okay, there we go. Obviously, we could create an extract, but it's uh, it's actually not that much data, so it's pretty fast the way it is. So we can go to sheet number one and start building up our view. Okay, and um, obviously, we're going to build a map. So what we need is the longitude and latitude from our airports file. So I'm just going to select them and drag them out here. Tableau automatically picks them up and says, yep, that's a map. And normally what you would do in such a case is, okay, I'm just going to break it up by, let's for example, say the airport ID. Uh, and that works. Now I get a uh, one dot for every airport I have. Actually, let's not use the airport ID. Let's maybe use the, um, the IATA code. And then if I go over Germany, I should at some point probably be able to see airports that I recognize. Actually, there's so many small airports that some of them... Um, like I don't even know this one was for example Orly in, in Paris so um, so we can see now every airport has one point but that's actually not what we want right because we want to draw lines between the source airport and the destination airport so we actually need every airport twice and uh, so in order to get there I'm going to take both the source airport and the destination airport and in this case it doesn't matter if you use the the airport which is the IATA code or if you use the IDs which by the way ended up down here as measures because the numbers but as you know we can just drag them up here uh, so it doesn't really matter which ones you use but I'm just going to use the actual airport code so I know what they are I'm going to take both of these and make them to detail looks exactly the same way only now we have twice the number of marks on the view because now we have every airport twice and now what we actually want to do is we want to draw lines between the source airport and the end airport so our mark type should be a line and then we need to tell Tableau, okay, well, this already looks interesting, kind of getting there, but it's not exactly what we want. You can see it's pretty chaotic. Um, and the reason is we haven't defined yet which way or which order to draw the line by. So in order to do this, what I'm going to take is the path ID. Again, this was classified as a measure because it's a number, but actually for us, we know that it is an ID, that's, it's an ID. So I'm going to take it up here to dimensions. And I'm going to take this one and define the path order of the line to be drawn according to the path ID. And once I do this, you can see, oh yeah, now the map looks a lot cleaner. Okay, and that's actually already uh, the, the end result. We can make it a little bit prettier if we want to. For example, we can take the line size down a little bit and we can make it a bit more transparent because we have a serious case of overplotting in this case. Let's try 10% maybe. Yeah, that looks already pretty nice. And uh, well, obviously you're more creative than I am, so you can you can go ahead and, and work from here. One thing that I, for example, like to do was just to show a filter based on the airlines. And if I make this one a drop down and say, okay, for example, if I were look were to look for the network of Lufthansa, I can see you, those are all the flight connections from Lufthansa, and you can see they're all centered around uh, Munich and Frankfurt in in Germany. Uh, let's do one more example, maybe American Airlines. Yep, so we can see they have multiple hubs in the US, but they also have apparently a bigger hub in London, although this might be due to code share things. And luckily we do have a field called code share in here. If I don't want to see any code share flights, I'm just gonna filter for those that say, no, I'm not a code share flight. And yeah, immediately we can see those go away. And now this is just the clean network of the flight uh, routes that American Airlines offers. So bottom line, I hope this was useful for you. You can see it's actually very easy to build those kind of route maps using two little features. One is the self-union, which is a fairly new feature um, to be able to, to create a union in that visual way. Earlier you had to write a custom SQL code for that. Now we can do it in a visual and also more performant way. And the second, and I think the key feature was the uh, join calculation, which allows us to join one instance of the airports, uh, of the routes, I apologize, the airports to the uh, routes and the other one to the destination airports. Okay, 
And then obviously we just need to make sure we set up the configuration of our vis correctly. And the key here is that we don't just need the airport ID anymore, but we need both the source and the destination ID and then the path ID to make the lines show up more orderly. And just remember that all IDs should be, just, uh, should be dimensions in order for Tableau to pick it up correctly. Okay, I hope this was helpful for you. If not, um, please feel free to ask a question in the comments if you liked it or if you build a cool little viz with some movement data or some relational data, uh, make sure to post a link to the, to the public viz and let us know what you did. Um, see you next time.